Here, let me do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Take one. How many times are we gonna do this? Sustainable fishing is important for everybody. It helps be sure that clams will be here for generations to come. Partnering with MSC would be a really great opportunity for anybody who is interested in making their fishery sustainable. So how many cages do you have on 30. there? You said 30? Okay, all right. And everybody's good? Good trip out there? Yeah. Awesome, okay. So the guys were out last night and they were bringing in the cages of clams that they caught. I believe they are, are they surf clams, Jamie? Surf clams. Surf clams, yep. So they're bringing in some surf clams. Sea Watch International is a harvester and producer of sea and ocean clams. My dad and uncle, at the very young age of 15 and 17, quit school and started working on a clam boat and eventually just had a bunch of clam boats and then bought the processing plants that further manufacture them. MSC has been a great partner to us. Certification is important for consumers to understand the sustainability of the clams that we process and to know that for generations to come, they will be plentiful. The MSC is not just an eco-label. It's a very rigorous process and a almost extreme undertaking <laughs> that many people are committed to. You have management agencies, you have independent peer reviewers, you have different researchers and due to the assessment process we understand that now the fishery has indeed committed themselves to sustainability and to cutting edge research. This is how we age the clams. So we polish this edge and then you can see the growth rings in there. I've been studying surf clams and ocean quahogs for the past 15 years. We think the biggest uh, issue of climate change wise for them is, is warming water temperatures. We've seen uh, surf clams moving into areas that are occupied by ocean quahogs. So surf clams are occupying the same habitat space as ocean quahogs. The fishery is not allowed to land both species in one trip. In order to legally land a trip, they would either have to discard some of the animals that they're catching, which is wasteful, or they have to fish in beds that are less dense and less efficient to fish on. And so what's gonna to have to happen is the rules are gonna to have to change and there's discussion about that. And in order to support that change in regulation, we're working together collectively to support that transition with data. So are you seeing a lot of mixing clams and quahogs? There's a fine line where you get a mixy batch, mm -hmm. depending on where you work. Yeah. Climate change is embedded in the MSC Fisheries Standard. We have a lot of internal projects and external projects where we work with different partners to understand the shifts in the different species due to climate change. The clam and quahog fishery is one of the premier fisheries that is adapting to climate change. And because of cooperation with companies like Sea Watch International, we are able to engage fisheries far and wide to make sure that they are committed to sustainability. What keeps you part of this? Uh, hmm. Probably a dream, the American dream. It was my dad's my uncles, so I'd say that.